It was in the 1970s that Germany became relevant not only for its trade potential, but also for its price stability potential. Monetary policy had not been very relevant, while Western Europe conducted exchange rate policies under the stability paradigm of the international monetary system. It was the end of the Bretton Woods regime in the early 1970s what led to the desperate search for new means to sustain price stability. In this search for stability, German monetary policy became progressively the reference for the rest of Europe. The progressive adoption of German monetary policy took 30 years. The euro is the outcome of this loan process. That is, a single European currency defined along the lines of the German Central Bank. Germany offered the template, but also material support on certain conditions. Germany offered assistance to its community partners in exchange for their commitment to implementing domestic and external stability policies. The European monetary system embodied this scheme of conditional support. With high inflation and high unemployment as the most salient problems in the 1970s, German assistance was welcomed across Europe. Germany assisted its partners through a policy of joint administration of bilateral exchange rates. The German currency would revalue at the same time as the partner's currency devalue. But this joint coordinated action, Germany offered to pay part of the cost of the devaluation of the rest of the European currencies and amplified the effect of a devaluation of a weak currency in the German market. These helped to expand exports of the country in difficulties, which in turn helped this country to expand production and retain employment. This policy of assistance was offered by Germany in exchange for a genuine collective effort at real convergence towards German macroeconomic patterns. This policy was offered by Germany in exchange for its partners' genuine efforts at real convergence towards German macroeconomic patterns. The European monetary system was then publicly presented as a further step on the road towards the European Monetary Union. The more German-minded the European governing elites became, the greater the emphasis on the European pro-Union discourse by all those involved. The members of the European monetary system prioritized stability-oriented economic policies. Price stability was the paramount priority including when dealing with wage negotiations. Countries with weak wage negotiation traditions use European monetary cooperation to discipline domestic agents towards the stabilization of domestic macroeconomic policy and performance. This was the case of France and Italy, and they were subsequently emulated by other southern European countries. The German idea of price stability fertilized around through the European monetary system first and then the economic and monetary union. The problem is that not all the countries so intimately linked to Germany are so disciplined in terms of price stability as Germany. Divergence with respect to the German standards will sooner or later 
passed the bill. A bill which, as we know now, is socially and politically very unpleasant.